Hello, hello, hello. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Philippine Adventures. Today's video is going to be about May's monthly expenses. I haven't done one in a while. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video coming up. I just did as an intro, but it's not the one I thought, but it's okay. May expenses 2021. What I did was, you know, uh, these months do vary some. I do have to say before I start is expenses has uh, increased as far as buying, purchasing groceries, about 25 to 30%. So for an example, uh, you can add, if you're buying something for a dollar, expect a pretty big increase on it. A small can of uh, even a, a pork and beans or something like that, that can be quite expensive. So today is something that uh, you don't really think about is uh, how expenses, how things can get out of hand, really. Now, this is for a minute now. This is where I live. Now, it's not going to be the same where everybody else lives, but this is going to be pretty well the same anywhere around my area, at least for a for, uh this here i know that my friend lives up in luzon his expenses are a little bit cheaper because he lives by the ocean and a lot of his food that he gets as uh you know he eats a lot of uh, crawfish lobster uh fish that he gets from the ocean he doesn't have to purchase anything as far as meat and his main diet believe it or not is fish they, they just basically live on fish and they've been doing that all along so this month it does change a little bit now this month electric bill uh, is around always around the same. It's going to run eighty bucks to a hundred dollars. And the reason why is is I have solar on part of the time, not all the time. We have so many power outages, and thank goodness you have solar. That if you don't have solar here, uh, where I live, you you're just you're in trouble because you really need some type of solar um, because it's costly out. I mean, some days we can have it twice or three times. Uh, so electric is $82 this month. Water was $3. And this is uh, potable water that we use for toilets. And we boil our water here. So uh, just let you know that. Now, Internet so far, we purchased, we had our existing Internet. Now, our bill is going to exceed a little more in this next month uh, because we have, uh, we bought a uh, PLDT unit and got their uh, TV uh, and which is their fiber and internet and three mesh units and a phone and all that for 2099 2999 so 60 bucks a month but this month is only 30 dollars we just have one that we're using food this last month we spent about 200 dollars on food our food bill has increased quite a bit because we're staying at home more meaning we're not we're, we're just eating more because we're just here it seems like time you get up you have breakfast then all of a sudden it's lunch time and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden you're making dinner, you know, and you might have a snack in between. It's amazing how time flies uh, when you're, you know, you're you're eating like that. Now I put in here miscellaneous. Miscellaneous includes uh, extra food, maybe you went out to eat a couple times, which he, we did, uh, travel, uh, and you know, just extra stuff in general. About hundred fifty dollars a month. You spend, you know, 20 bucks here, 20 bucks there thing, 20 bucks here. So I decided, I said, well, 150 bucks is about on the average we spent on that. Now, I paid an extra 100 bucks this month for um, going and uh, we had bathroom had a problem with um, uh, the bottom of the tub. Uh, it cracked. The plastic cr cracked in the shower. Well, we couldn't get, uh, we went to buy the shower bottom. And Malai Balai and Valencia here, their city hardware is just horrible. They're just really horrible. This is a little older one from Dabo. But, you know, that was uh, uh, 8, 10, 12 weeks ago, and it never did come. So what we did, we tiled the bottom of the shower. We had our, our uh, my brother-in-law came and did that. I'm just going to say 100 bucks. That includes labor on that. 
We didn't have TV or uh, things like that. We spent, spent a whole $7 for Netflix this month uh, because that's something that we have. I didn't even buy a TV card. It's 10 bucks a month. I didn't even buy it because we've been watching Netflix. But now since we have a Signal TV now, uh, it comes with the Internet package. And it comes with about 60 channels. It's fine. It's fine. It's all I need. Uh, and then all our school, no expense to school because she's not even doing anything. There's really no expenses anyway other than internet and things like that because I don't have to pay for bus or things like that. It came to a grand total of about $565. It ran, so it's running about $600 a month. Now, that does not include something that does, uh, does not include uh, insurance uh, that your personal insurance that you need to have. Uh, we were under the other uh, grandfather and other plan we have with uh, uh, Philly Health. So you're looking at my expenses, $565. Some, so I don't pay rent. That's a big factor. Uh, people say, well, how can it be so cheap? Well, I don't pay rent. Only thing I use, only thing I have to have is electric. Uh, I got to have water. I got to have internet. And I got to have food. And I got to have travel and miscellaneous. So all that's included in there. So it kind of gives you an idea on what we spend here. It's not very too much. In the beginning, it, it, when I first came here, it's about three, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. But uh, as time goes on, you know, we're we're eating more. I mean, sometimes family comes over, we'll eat two or three meals here. Uh, we'll sometimes fix, fix quite a bit extra. Uh, Ruth will uh, things like that. Of course, she has her cake business. And I'm a supporter of cake business also, uh, buying the items for that. And she gets to keep all the money from that. So I want to always thank everybody for watching our videos. And I want to thank everybody for always coming on our channel. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. God bless everybody. Thank you.